As a child, my fishing experiences were things that you caught in the reservoir of the Snake River. I did not even know that salmon and steelhead fishing was even a possibility growing up here in Dayton. After graduating high school and then college and the salmon runs began to rebound, I fell in love with salmon and steelhead fishing and enjoy it to this day, right here in my backyard. You know, fishing to me represents a release. My mind goes blank, I just sit and focus on, on fishing and, and that's a real release of all external issues in my life. It's therapeutic. A typical day for me looks like providing the opportunity, a blank slate, for people to come together and collaborate on topics related to salmon recovery. I bring together technical people, landowners, local elected, state elected, and so I'm, I, you know, I kind of represent, I guess, if you will, the glue, the cohesion, the opportunity for people to, to think together on local solutions. And I think that that's one of my personal strengths, I guess, is I, I'm not wedded necessarily to a particular outcome. I'm curious what everybody has to say. Salmon habitat restoration is far more comprehensive than a single project in isolation in a single watershed. Because at the end of the day, the, the decision that's made, if it's represented by a whole suite of input and diverse perspectives, it will be durable. Some of the most rewarding things about the job that I do is to look at the work that we're doing is actually changing the environment and fish are responding. Come down here to the river and see kids fishing with their fathers. Come over here to the fishing pond and little kids catching those fish. None of that would be possible without the work that we've done to get this far with salmon recovery.